Hello, in this section of the Lightning Forms help, we're going to get into the styling of your forms, and that means applying colors and formatting and even conditional formatting. So what we've got at the moment is our form design, and just as a recap, we've created some different sections and uh, improved the layout of our form. So we've got some side-by-side -side columns, we've got a header, we also have some tabs and so on as well. And we also took an export of that form in the previous video. And uh, we've, of course, got our sublist as well. So what we want to do now is apply some styling to our form design. So what you'll notice at the very top is the styling button. And we can go into here and you'll see that we've got all of the general styles that we can apply. And we've also got all of the individual styles, the control styles. So the difference between these two sections, notice that uh, this is not singling out any particular field or any particular row or any particular tab. These are styles that will get applied to all of the fields or all of the tabs or all of the buttons on your form. So uh, we'll go through and look at how we can do that as a general style that we're going to apply to the form. However, sometimes you really want something to stand out, like the purchase order number, for example. So the purchase order number is going to be a piece of information that people are always going to be looking for, perhaps when they open up the purchase order form. So uh, we want that to stand out so people aren't sort of hunting around in the different tabs. It's outside of those tabs for a reason and uh, what we can do is make it even more obvious where the purchase order number can be found. I think we've all been there where we've, uh, we're trying to read off a customer reference or something like that when we're on a telephone to a supplier or, or something along those lines and we just can't see it. There's too much information on the document and that's why we're going to do this is so that that purchase order number really stands out to you so that it's just obvious where it is and where it can be found. And in the next video, we're also going to get into adding some conditional styling as well. And we can do that for sort of highlighting uh, different areas of the form to, to provide sort of visual feedback. And one of the things that we're going to do that on is, is actually a couple of fields. One of them is this status field here. So the status field can typically be a pen, uh, pending or it can be approved or declined. And uh, what we want to do is apply some color formatting based upon that condition changing. Now, of course, you may be on the requester tab or the ship to tab and not see the fact that the status has a different color. Uh, so what we're also going to do is apply that same condition and the same set of styles to the status tab. So the tab itself can actually become highlighted and so on. So uh, let's get into this. So what we'll do at first is come in and apply some general styles and uh, I'm going to do this tastefully <laughs> so uh, what you'll notice here is we've got the font for every single label is basically the black font it's the default font that you would get on any form for a label um, and what I might want to do is just apply a little bit of subtle color or increase the size of that font and, and so on so what you'll notice uh, here is we have the fields section and that's where those styles are going to be changed. So as we click onto the ellipsis for fields, notice we get to add styles to this or we could also import styles. That's going to be the third video in this series is we learn about exporting and importing styles into different controls. So what we're doing is actually adding a style, which is a file in its own right that stores our file settings. And uh, we can either design this from scratch or from an existing style. So notice in here um, that there is no styles applied yet to this form, um, but I could go and borrow from another field or another control the styles that I want to apply to this one. So we're effectively copying the styling. Um, or we can also create templates. Uh, so if we did that as an option, uh, we can go through and choose some of the different templates that are built in. So notice we've got error styles and we've got approved styles. These are things that maybe we could look at using on the status field, for example. So if it's declined, it goes red like this. If it's approved, it's green, and uh, and so on. Okay, so uh, we're going to accept the default name uh, for this file that is going to store the style. So it's called General Style for Fields. I'm fine with that. We could make it more specific if we wanted to. Uh, so I'm just going to choose the From Scratch option. Choose Next. And in here, notice we've got all of the styles that we can change for fields. And I'll just scroll through these so you can see the different styles that you can change. So we have the input, uh, which is uh, referring to, let's talk about the purchase order number field. So on the purchase order number field, the input is this area here. Um, so we can change that. And notice the focus color is blue. 
that's where that is set the border color so when that field has focus it goes blue and that's coming from the theme as well and we're going to explain a little bit about the themes uh, in just a moment um, so when it's not got the focus notice that it's got that gray uh, color uh, so we can see that the, the colors there um, also the border color is the is the same color um, we've got the color of the field we've got the uh, the, the color of the text and, and so on uh, all for, for that uh, field and that is just talking about the field itself not the label we've then got the actual display value so once a value is stored inside that field we've got all of the styling for that and then the label so on the label um, if we jump up to purchase order number again I could change that label to be uh, more obvious so we've got the different colors the alignment of that label the font size of that label and and so on and likewise with field description so that's effectively your tooltip and uh, and then we've also got the error message uh, should there be a validation error or anything like that so that's for fields um, now that if I make a change it's going to apply to all of the fields on here so uh, this is not going to help us with that purchase order number standing out um, this is going to help us apply a style to all of the fields on this form so what I'm going to do is just make a, a subtle change to the label so we're going to come down to the label here and whether the color is currently black notice I'm going to click onto that and at the top here we've got all of the theme colors so that's why when I talked about the focus color that could be different on your form it may not be blue depending on the theme that is applied to your SharePoint site so if you've got that orange theme um, that's likely to be a shade of orange and, and so on and this is a great thing because you could sort of break away from the theme design and there's reasons to do that if you really want something to stand out so people you know are not going to miss the bright orange button on the form or, or something along those lines we could break away from the theme but if you're looking for a sort of subtle improvement to the form then you could pick out the theme color and that way if anybody was to change the theme as well for the site your form is going to change with it so uh, in this case we've got a few different colors to choose from I'm going to go with the uh, the dark uh, navy blue uh, so I can go through and select that and notice that it selects it in the palette for me at the bottom here um, so if I want to sort of lighten that color or, or, or something along those lines I can also do that as well and, and just make that uh, even more subtle so um, in this color palette you've also got the ability to just simply select the default color because obviously we can't always remember what was the default color for some of these controls so the default color in this case is black and we could always revert back to that if we want to but if I want to accept my change I can just hit the, the, the tick or the check mark in the top right hand corner and we can preview it um, so when we hit preview notice that all of those labels are now appearing in the theme blue and uh, we could also increase the size of that font as well um, so currently it's nine points uh, and I'm just gonna drop it up to ten and a half and let's just preview that and notice we've got a slight increase in the font size for each of my labels now you'll also notice in the form styling panel that the fields that I've changed or the properties that I've changed appear in an orange rectangle so uh, when we're scrolling through uh, wondering why we've applied a style to some controls we can see what was changed and again if ever we want to revert it back to the default we can do that okay so that's the sort of general styling for fields and uh, if I just collapse that now we've then got that um, style that we can export if we want to and like I said we'll get more into that later on um, but what I'm going to do is just focus in on an individual control uh, so as we come down here to the control styles these are all in order as to how they appear on your form so starting off with the command bar we've got our save and cancel button we've then got a row with a column and another row with a column and so on and there's our purchase order in column one and date in column two and as we scroll down further we've got some uh, additional rows uh, which have the tabs in there so you'll notice there's our request a tab there's our ship to tab and uh, further on down is our status tab and so on and in each tab we can see the columns and the fields that appear inside of those tabs so that's how we navigate the controls on the form so if we want to change the purchase order number field what I'm going to do is just 
go to the purchase order number field and we'll add some styles to that. So again, this is style for purchase order number. I'm good with that. Let's just accept it and choose next. So in here, because we're applying a style to a specific control, notice that we've got a rule or a condition that we can apply. And this is how we do the conditional formatting. We're going to jump into that in the next video, not this one. Um, but yeah, you can make a mental note that that's there and, uh, and that's what that is for. Um, so I want this to always be applied to the purchase order number. So I don't really need to set a rule or a condition. Um, what I'm going to do here is just simply go through and set a style specifically for my purchase order number field. So remember the input is the field itself. So we've got the uh, the, the color of that field um, is currently the, the, the gray shade. We could, if we want to make that stand out a little bit, I'm just going to just choose a, a lighter shade of blue. And uh, the border um, we can make stand out a little bit. And I'm going to go with that dark blue from the theme again. And uh, you can take your time over this. Um, hit preview and as you can see this is what it's going to look like so it looks different to all of the other fields uh, or so that's the styling complete on the purchase order number so what I'm going to do now is just simply click uh, save and close uh, actually before I do that notice here that it also creates that CSS as well so if ever you wanted to come back and change that manually uh, that's also something that you can do um, so let's save and close this and uh, we'll save and close the form design as well. And I'll just make sure we don't have any cash. So I'll just do a control shift refresh and uh, hit new. And then we get there's our, our purchase order number um, highlighted. So uh, it's very obvious where to find that. Okay, uh, so in the next video, we'll get into some conditional formatting and I'll see you there.